Hi. Happy Monday. Hi. Monday. Yeah. Monday, Monday. <laughs> Hi. It's Monday. <clears throat> yeah. You guys are the pants. Well, I'm not seeing anything tonight. Uh, I'll go get the pants. I can't get any, get my notification. Hey, why didn't Amanda get a notification? I don't know. Oh, Angela just got hers right now. I don't know. It's crazy. What's up, Tommy? Never mind. It was delayed. Lame. Yeah, I got a migraine right now. I'm trying to coffee it. Advil it, Tylenol it, everything it. We're going to be all right here. Oh, my shirt and like mess. I just woke up from a nap trying to get rid of this. We're going to do it. So we listed 67 or 68 things this weekend. Oh, my God. For us, it's like a huge freaking deal. Ooh, John Barbados Converse. You should have told Dan you have those, right? Ten and a half. He loves a John Barbados and a Converse. A happy Monday. Hi, Celeste. Hey, Jill. Matt. <clears throat> Zomig Nasal. I wonder if I can take Zomig Nasal. I'm allergic to a lot of the migraine meds, well, most of them, because of my seizures. You're not allowed to take them if you have a history of seizures. So that's why I'm trying to, like, you know, I think it's allergy. Like, my, it's in my face. It's not a true migraine. It's in my face. You can see how puffy my face is. I mean, obviously, look at this. Mm -mm. I don't know why Texas has winter allergies. It's freaking nuts. I'm used to a place where, like, allergies come in the spring and the summer, and then they go away in the winter. Not here. Look at my face. Not here. They don't go away. Like, and then I look at my app, and it's, like, ragweed, which I'm really, really allergic to. is high right now. Thanks, Texas. I appreciate you. Commented on today's video, y'all put, uh, why don't you guys ship that book set media mail? I'm just trying to figure out if I'm missing something. You're not missing something. Um, they paid for a priority. So when we have certain items like that that are heavy or collectible, we give the option to pay for a shipping rate that's higher. So if they pay for priority, we have to ship it priority. Which is, I mean, that's all fair and good. They paid for it, right? Amanda's asking, um, you got a bunch of randos. She's asking why we didn't ship the um, the book uh, media mail, which is a good question. Yes. I was saying question. they have the option and they pay for priority. So they paid nine dollars to have it shipped. We did lose a couple bucks because um, this is Hawaii. we assume <laughs> when we do priority listings, we assume that it's going to be in the contiguous United States, or if it's international, it gets an automatic surcharge. The only time that that doesn't work is when it goes to Alaska or Hawaii or Puerto Rico or Guam or something like that. And we only lose a couple bucks. So we take the risk. And this one happened to be going to Hawaii. So I think it cost us, I think we lost like 2 or $3. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't terrible. It's fine. If it's over like a million pounds, we don't do it anymore. Obviously, you guys know I turned it off. I'm so <laughs> mad. But if it can fit in basically a regional or a priority uh, flat rate mailer envelope, is what I'm trying to say, we take the gamble and we charge eight ninety nine for that service. And sometimes we, most of the time we win. Most of the time it costs us eight dollars and thirty cents, and we pocket sixty cents. Sometimes we have to pay a couple bucks. It's okay. Though. It happens. It's worth a gamble to offer a competitive shipping rate and to offer a service that some people want. Like if it's a collector's item, Media Mail would have taken freaking who knows right now, <clears throat> two weeks or something to get there, and it would have been all banged up. Yeah. Um. Oh. Whereas these people are, it's going to go through less travel, and it'll be there in two days. 
Exactly right. That's a really good way to look at it, Amanda. She said that book set sold for a good amount, so technically you didn't lose on anything. That's so true. Also, yeah, very, very yep. true. Yep. Imagine if Dan used pirate ship. He would have made three dollars. <laughs> Ladder for the people on the back. Yeah, I think that would have actually qualified for Cubic. It's just very rare for us that Cubic works. I don't know. It's the same way that people can't use regional boxes, and that's all we use. It's like the same freaking thing. I don't know. It must be where we live or something. Something. Cubic is almost never cheaper, and if it is cheaper, it's like two cents, which isn't worth going back and forth from pirate ships. Yeah. <laughs> like, mm, yeah, we'll just stay in eBay and do all the 30 packages in one go and flip back and forth for two cents, you know? Granted, we yeah, don't it's check. It's a matter of time versus money. Right, but we don't check every item either. That's the other. Also true. Very true. So we could be missing out. Because these are the first ones getting listed. It's, not a, <laughs> it's just not a fan of fire. I don't know if it's on. So for the next three nights, we're here for three more nights, and then we are out on another journey. So we won't be here Thursday or Friday. But we're going to be listing boring things called pants. Okay? Boring. Boring. Because here's what we found out. Faster. Pants are faster. And we have a million pairs to list. We got a big lot of clothing. I think if you guys saw the videos, you know that. We got a huge lot of 318 pieces of plus size bread and butter clothing. Oh, yeah. And um, we list much faster when we're not live. So when we're live, we need to find a way to list faster, and that's going to be pants. Sorry, you guys don't get to see anything interesting. <laughs> all the pants, all the time. And um, as you will see, the second part of this call, we're not talking about it a ton on YouTube because it's become a problem <laughs> where we're sourcing. People have start showing up. Oh, Never wanted to be those people, but when you have to be those people, we have to be those people. So, <laughs> anyway, we got a ton of plus size clothing. And uh, the last bit, the last 218 pieces that we got were at 46 cents a piece. So, our cost of goods is super low. They're bread and butter, they're not going to be worth a ton. So, I don't know that you're going to learn much of what we're listing, but maybe how we're listing them, and maybe from the chat you'll learn some stuff. But we have to do what we have to do. We're much faster listing pants. Yeah. That is much better because we can actually work alongside and not have to pay as much attention. <laughs> Good job, Jill. Seeing the bright side. I like it. No, no, no. We're listed live. We wouldn't abandon you guys. We need you. It's just really hard. I, I make a lot of mistakes live and it's easier to Make mistakes on pants. <laughs> I guess it's less likely that I'll make a mistake on pants. Can you turn on my computer? Yeah, we yes. are not signing off tonight until we have 20 things done. It's our new December thing. We're doing 20 in December and hopefully 30 in the new year. <clears throat> we figured out a way to do it, but Dan's email broke. So we missed half a day today. Broke. His email dang broke. What's up, Jen? Trying to fix it. We've been on all the Reddits. It's, uh, it's, it's been fun. He's on a data breach, not a data breach, a ransomware. Yeah, yeah. His email client got ransomware, and he hasn't had email for four days. Tommy going to be all over this. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy's going to be like, you're part of that? Why didn't you switch years ago? I don't know. Same. Exactly. All right, we listen. Can you turn on my computer? Yeah, i got to turn on light. I'm too. fighting a migraine, but it seems to be getting better. Sweet. That's good news. Drinking a peppermint mocha. I haven't done the challenge on the Facebook group. I need y'all to help me figure out what the challenge should be. I was thinking that I would live list on Facebook during the day with you guys, but then I realized it would slow us down so much. So I need I need some help figuring out what this challenge. This looks like crap. Hold on, friend. Hold on. We gotta happen here. Yeah. Schmoot it. Schmoot it down. Oh, damn. I tried. It I know. It was weird, right? It didn't stay. Because it's linen. Linen stretch. All right. What is this? JJ Linen stretch. 
polo and pants and a 4X. J, Jill, linen, stretch, pull on pants. Back is better. Thank you for asking. It doesn't feel like I'm having a heart attack anymore. That's good. Always good. Always good. And I did a lot of heavy lifting this week and I was really worried about it. But Dan did, like when we were taking out all the inventory, he carried all the bags. So that was really helpful because if I had re-injured myself, I would have been so bad. <laughs> oh, so he carried them all out with eight bags full of um, these plus size pants. Now see, these sold for $16.99. I'm just going to give you a little info on the plus size of the land. So it gives me a vague idea of comps, but these are a 4X, which are a lot more rare. The size, I've been listing these all weekend, so I kind of know how rare they are. And so I can price them a little bit higher without gouging. If you price it, if you take the piss, you're put, you know pricing way too high. I can probably get 25. I can probably list these for $26.95 and get a $24 offer and hopefully make $20 profit on them. When I paid $0.46, cents, I'm pretty happy with that. And everything we got was in really good condition, which is a blessing because yep. you guys know we get lots of clothes before and they've been in horrible condition or have <laughs> different size legs. Sigh. Deep sigh. Dan carried you out too. He should have. Oh, Matt's power listing. He's gonna he's about to list his butt off. Uh oh. Uh oh. I have these deer skin lined fairies and they are the softest thing I've ever felt. <laughs> Deer skin lined. I bet those are divine. Okay, so here's another thing that I've learned. J. Jill only sells women's clothing. So putting women's here is just bogus and it takes up my characters. So I've been taking it out and I've been writing plus size. And I don't know why pants is on all caps. Pants. And we're going to try to. Do we have any more of those that we can. You know, sell uh, somewhere from. I will check. These are linen viscose and spandex. Yeah. Okay, and they're not new, right? Correct. Okay, number. Sixty-one ninety-one. I'm preparing to list my butt off after January 1st. Oh, Jen Stalling. <laughs> Do it now. You'll feel so much better. Yeah, come on. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right. So we have been doing 20 at least, and it's been going really well. So we're not going to change that. I would never advise, let's see, a pedal pusher. Do you think these are a pedal pusher? I'm just going to call them cropped. Oh, wait, what are they called? Ankle? Ankle. I'm going to call them ankle. That sounds more advised. Huh? Okay, okay. All right, chambray, ankle, inseam. I'm not there yet, sorry. All right, waist. Uh, 40 to 54. So we'll go with 50-ish. It's always hard when it's elastic. You know? Yeah, I never know what to put. Classic. Do you know the rise? Twelve. Ooh, they're a high rise, aren't they? Yep. It seems twenty-six. Cool. Um. So I am not, and Dan isn't either. We're not the kind of people that are like only sell plus size things, but we don't have a lot of plus size in our store, and we're always trying to round it out in some way or another. So this was a good opportunity that we found. And so we took it, even yep. though it's bread and butter. We haven't been selling this these like mallish kind of brands in a while, but again, we're trying to round out our closet or store or whatever the hell you call it on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell I started on Posh because I always be calling it a closet. Get away. All right, we're going to try these at $26.95. And the other thing that's been saving us a lot of time is I haven't been comping at all. I, I basically do the first comp and see, like, what it's about worth. Like, when we did all the tops, I just price them all at $39.95. And that saves a lot of time. Unless it's something really special or new with tags, you know. And the goal is to clear this stuff. Like, so we listed 67 and sold 7 And, yeah, that's a pretty good 
you know, we sold seven within the same day we listed them. That's pretty awesome, I think. Yeah. Hey, come on. I have purchased lots of jackets and coats recently for two fifty to five each. My goal is to get them all listed this week and selling them very well. Forty two. Forty six. Six. Forty six cents. Boom. I listed my six things this morning, which is actually nine things. We decided to go get my one fifty and listing today. There you go. That's awesome. In for these to get the number because the prices are, are lower, we really need to go fast and maximize our productivity. And it is more about a numbers game instead of like cost because we'll never hit <laughs> listing something at twenty six dollars. You know what I mean? We need to list a ton of it. And so we're basically just taking offers and clearing this stuff as fast as we can, and it's working out. It's like a, like a mini version of the volume game. We don't have enough space to play the volume game, <laughs> but we can do it in little spurts. There was a um, post on eBay Thrifters, I don't know, about an hour or two ago, and somebody was asking, like, for the 100000 club like what did you do to make your business go full-time and almost every single answer was a source in bulk and Dan and I completely agree we haven't like been like nitpicking like going to the thrift and sourcing in over a year we don't source that way anymore we source in bulk big lots of things all the time it takes a lot to get them listed and processed but it saves so much time from driving around and just hoping you find something and if you're a part-time, that's fine. But if you truly want to go full-time, you need a ton of inventory at your doorstep, you know what I mean? Or in your car, in one go. Because that time that you spend listing, it does, even driving for us, we don't realize how much time it, it actually takes. The closest thrift store to us, back and forth, is, a, is basically 20 to 30 minutes. Yeah. Besides the good work right by our house, that sucks. 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 <laughs> so bad. But if you want to go to like a real thrift store, you got to get on the highway. You know what I'm saying? So that's an hour right then. When we go to the bins, it's technically 10 minutes, but it normally takes us about 15, 20. And then when we get there, we're there for like six to eight hours because we're psycho. <laughs> we can't even go in the bins. It's just like insane just stay there all freaking day because both of us are addicted to the hunt we're like but what if the next i'll go up to dan we'll be there for like four hours and i'll be like you ready He's like, yeah and then i see him at the new bin and I'm like, <laughs> He's like, let me just check this one four hours later we're still there i'm like oh my god guilty but both of us we keep it's, stuff. it's not one or the other it's both of us <laughs> but still even when we walk out we have less than we walk out with our bulk sourcing opportunities we still leave after eight hours of less. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At least these are all like the same size, the same thing. We're just like, boom, 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 list them. I spend all the time driving. Yeah, Chrissy, you're different. You're driving for funsies. <coughs> Hi. $26 Converse and Skechers are my bread and butter. I love that. I love that. Those sell, every time we listen to our Converse, it sells. Yeah. Most people are like, I don't pick them up. Well, okay. Easy. We don't it's actually easy, pick so. them up either, but every time we do, they sell us new. Hmm. Maybe. All right. So here we are. These are ready to get listed. And what are these? Uh, I need the weight. This is going to be an issue Problems. with all of these. Okay. So we're first class. First class in it. I just can't forget to ask for the weight. What are these? These are J. Jill Indigo Slim Leg. I love how they have it on there. Yeah. And what size? 2X. <clears throat> oh, wow. Matt says Converse are my number one selling brand. I can believe it. Um. Okay, you said two. So this is one thing that I don't do. Does that look okay? Blue? It looks black. Like, yeah. A little black. I'll filter it. So this is what I don't do with plus size. I think this is a little bit of a disservice. Is to use a stock photo of someone that's not plus size. So this one sold, and these were a two XL. Also, this is labeled incorrectly, but they did sell for thirty one fifty. So this is giving me a little bit of a comp. But this stock photo is misrepresenting these pants. In fact, if I was plus size, I would not buy these pants because 
they ain't gonna look good on me if they look good on this person. That's just my own opinion. Do what you want. Obviously. It's got like the stick figure lady in a 2X listing. No. I wanna see, if I'm 2X, I wanna see what, <clears throat> what my curves are gonna look like, right? We'll be like, okay. Come on. I can rock those pants, but not when this lady's wearing them. No way. No. <laughs> Get mad. Oh, I wish I had one more character. We go pull on pant. Pant. How long do you wait to send an invoice for unpaid item? Um, this is Dan's arena. Where's Kristen? Hi, Kristen. I should be quicker about it. Sometimes I forget. But I usually do it on like day two or three. Kristen has 15 minutes and she's going to need to get eight listings done. Go for it. You could do it. I've never done eight listings in 15 minutes. But I bet you can. Amanda waits till the 48 hour mark. <laughs> Matt, you do what I do. I send payment reminders once a, a night for four days. Me too. I'm like, if you pay for this, we will ship it. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, so these went a little higher. Yeah. These sold for 31.50 in the exact same size. Mm -hmm. And they had 11.15 shipping items. Weird, right? Yeah. So if you scroll down in your sizes, y'all, if you scroll past all these extra larges, there is the plus size sizing at the bottom here where it says 2X, which is what you want. Skinny, right? Slim. Slim weight. Slim. Slim the same as skinny, I guess. Paul skinny. Materialist. Cotton spandex. Okay, cotton blend. I'll put spandex in their stretch. I'll see my third day. I'll let them know on the fourth day we'll automatically cancel their order. Oh, that's a good one. Jen does. I send reminder after one day, invoice after two days, and message at three days and cancel at four. Bam! Y'all are good. See, we just let things fizzle. <laughs> need to get better at that. Um, in scheme. Stand by. Waste. 40 to 46. Now, can you see if we have any more of those? I don't think we do, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I guess I can just find them. I think it. Yeah, I was trying to stay as similar as possible. Okay, cool. Kristen's already got two done. Go, Kristen! This is exciting. <laughs> Marathon. I've had plenty of times after I send the payment reminder message that the buyer pays, then message me that eBay didn't alert them. Oh. Megan's lurking and eating dinner. Okay. Oh, wow. That's why I'm adamant on sending them every day, even if I just accept the offer, say a few hours ago. There you go. So here's the interesting part. Um, oh, my God, I got my math here. These are 16 ounces right at 15.5 or 6. But I could ship them first class. We just went in a poly. Yeah. Yeah. I think that makes us more competitive. Okay. Yeah, for sure.
Nobody wants to pay extra shipping. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally. Okay, I'm going to mark these up a little bit. You guys don't yell at me. Because I just did our sales and the coupon and everything. And we know that I can get $31.50 for them with $11.15 shipping. Like, that's nuts. <clears throat> so I'm going to do $44.95. And then we're going to see what happens. Okay, okay. Because what will happen is our sale is on. And so that will automatically bump it down. Yeah. And then we have a coupon, which will automatically bump it down. And our shipping is less. Coupon. And we're sending first class, so that's good. You price gouging <laughs> Get out of here. People will send an offer for what it's worth. It always happens. Or what it's not worth. It's an offer for 25%. I'm like, okay. So... We have done the math, and if we do 20 a day, we can get the, all of this stuff listed in the 10 more days. Which <laughs> would be amazing for us, because this is what happened last year. We got a lot of about the same number of pieces. If you all remember the Eileen Fisher lot. And we're still listing the stuff. No mm -hmm. joke, it's still back there. We have not listed it. So we have our eyes on the prize, like, if we're bringing lots like this into our house, they have to get prioritized and listed immediately so that we can make room for another lot to come in. Like, you know, kind of like setting it up for the universe to provide. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I believe in that kind of stuff. You totally. know, I'm weird like that. But we needed something and we had even talked about it. We're like, we need a big lot to come through and then look what happens right when yeah. we're ready. Well, let's just keep burning through it, JJ. Let's things. burn through it, baby. Let's go. Let's just keep going. We're just burning through it. You heard? You heard it here. It's just jigil stretch, extra large. And it's just like, let me feel. It's like sleep pants. Yeah, you need the lint roll then, though. I would, I'm just going to say jersey. I'm not yeah. going to say sleep. They don't say sleep on the tag. Like, yeah, and some people wear this that yeah. kind of thing now. I'm not going to judge. Who am I to judge? Mm hmm, right? So these are J. Jill black jersey pull-on pant, right? That is correct. They're not J. Jill wherever. No. They are. These are probably going to be worth less. Pure. They're not sure J. Jill. Oh. Now, see, we don't know a lot about J. Jill. We're learning. This is the other thing about just getting rando stuff. It takes a little bit of time to kind of learn. Are we sure they're not the wear ever? Because I think that's only on the merchandise tag. I mean, I'm not 100% sure. I just, there's nothing else on the tag. On okay, the are they a wide leg rayon spandex? They're definitely wide leg. Are they? Oh, are they? Are they not? They are rayon and spandex, yes. I am? No, they are tapered. Done. What's happening? So she pays, I don't see it. Okay. Maybe eBay is just like taking a, taking a beer sweet time. <laughs> They're not a ponty. Nope. What size are they? Extra large. Just regular extra large. Hey Sal, how are you? Hello, hello. You just listen. Trying to go. What's up, Jack? Heard this is where the party's at. Uh -oh. We always be partying on a Monday. Always. Alright, I'm gonna use these, but I'm just not gonna call them wide leg. I need you to do the, the side leg for the board. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. What up? We're listening pants. 
boring listing night, but fun time in the chat. So the first day we went, we picked up 100 pieces. And we were like, nah, that's all we want. And then we went back. We thought better of it and picked up 200 more pieces. 218 to be exact. As you do. We're just stuffing stuff into Ikea bags. People were trying to steal our Ikea bags. I was not having it. Get away. I was like, ma'am, excuse me, <coughs> ma'am, ma'am. She could not comprehend. <laughs> what do you mean? This, this is my bag. Like, I brought this. Get away. <laughs> shoot, shoot. So we are on tonight until we list 20 things or more. If you're in for the long haul, let's go. With these low dollar things, we have to list more, obviously. Erbius. Thank you. Welcome. J. Jill, size. Oh, no, that's not wrong. Size extra large. Black uh, tapered leg. Gonna have to go to pants again. Jersey knit pull on stretch pants. Number? 6193. 6193. And these are going to go for less because they are less substantial. That's what I'm finding out as we're learning about J. Jill. Tapered. So you don't do this. No, mm -mm. no, 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 no. Don't do what? So instead of putting rayon and spandex and using little check boxes, they just typed rayon and spandex. Oh, no, don't, no, don't, don't do that. Don't do that because you can't search <laughs> that. You can't do that. Comfort. Athleisure. Been having good success with these themes. Capsule. Basic. Occasion. Casual. Birthday. Birthday. <laughs> Always. Who's to say? What are you guys listening tonight? What are you selling? I'm so interested in, in sometime like December. It's like so weird what people are selling. We, we definitely are selling gifts. Like we sold a box set of books today. We sold some ornaments, holiday things. Then we're also selling like you know, clothes and shoes, and I think people need to buy stuff to go to their holiday parties. That's true. I don't know. <clears throat> what do I know? All right, we definitely just sold a plush that I had a feeling about. We sold it to Canada for 80 bucks. 80? Nice. Remember when I was like, Dan! It's like really awkwardly loud at the same piece, which I shouldn't be. Because that kind of thing kills me. This one. Nice. Remember you were at the register and I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I'm very like, what are you doing? I was like, I have a feeling about this. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. So plush is definitely selling. I don't know. It's hard to predict this kind of a thing. Brooks Brothers boxers today. Boom! Yeah. There you go. There you go. In a military pin bag. Yeah, it's interesting. So, like, shoes, coats, sweaters, and knickknacks. Mm -hmm. 14.8 ounces for stuff. Up a baby. What's up a baby? Up a baby. Come on. We had a baby as a boy. We <laughs> had a baby as a boy. <laughs> I'm still listening up a baby accessories and finding the age of new stroller items on my Google. Huh. So 
so weird. Are someone donating them to your Goodwill? Like, what's happening with the stroller stitch? See, what I would do, if that was happening in my Goodwill, I would try to figure out who was donating it. I'd be all with the ladies. Hey, who's bringing this stuff in here? And then I would go straight to them. So you don't have to pay the Goodwill price. If they're going to donate it anyway, you might as well donate it to you. <laughs> I'd be like, I have a small business. We specialize in this kind of merchandise. Mm -hmm. I send Dan all over town asking people what they do with their returns. <laughs> you just walk in. What's your process for returns? What's your process for old inventory? <clears throat> How are you going to be the hustle couple if you ain't hustling, young man? Good point. Listing pictures like postcards. Uh oh, auction professor in the house. I love that kind of stuff, to be honest, though. We don't list any of it, but I love it. Does stuff like that sell? I'm sure it does. He makes a whole living off of it, apparently. Oh, there's writing on the tag. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Bro, why are you cutting off your pitches? Who got cut off for? Yeah, you cut off your legs. Hmm. Are you in swear mode? Yes. Okay. Okay, there's more change over there. Cool. I think these are the same. Yep, these are the same. Exact same? And a 2X. Exact yes. same pants and a 2X. Well, I'm going to have to get measurements from you because I didn't put. You said the inseam was. 32. Okay. 32. What was the waist? 34 to 40. So I can just sell similar, huh? Mm hmm Um, nope. There is writing on the inside tags. Hey, Danielle. My sales this weekend have been all over the board. Athletic leggings, skirts, jackets, a mug, a nightgown, and a Pokemon plush. I love it. Sasquatch asking me for my stuff. <laughs> Dan does not care. He that's the German in him. He has no qualm about doing anything. I get all anxious about it. I can't even like walk into a store. I like look at the ground. I'm like, I can't even ask where the bathroom is. Like I seriously have anxiety about it. Not Dan. I'm like, go ask him this. He's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he does not care. <laughs> Pretty funny actually. We were road tripping and picking. We hit this crappy looking little yellow pl place. Packed to the gills but closed. We left having back, back by later doors open. And what's the end of the story? Oh, this place was so packed and the lady was like, make a pile. I'm selling cheap, cheap. So I have a huge pile. I'm like, okay, let's see what you got so far to her. And then what? Amanda said, my sales are all over the place. A Patch, water filters, mixer parts, a shirt, and an olive oil dispenser. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's why I can niche down because, like, we're selling all that stuff too. Some side light, please. She priced the shirts I picked at $18 each. Wait, I thought she said she cheap, cheap. Like, she was just going to give it, like, fill a bag. That's probably what you thought too, huh? 18 bucks? You could go to freaking Bell can get that. Sloth said, my sales are kind of random too. A vintage toy, random clothes, a game, bras. Mm -hmm. That is crazy. Some people like act like they just don't want to sell anything. Like, do you actually want, your store is overflowing, ma'am. <laughs> are you trying to sell anything? Like, what's the issue here? Holding the light. I can't. Thank miss. you. She was a crackhead or something. Well, it seems like she would want the money, okay? Because you probably left, right? You were like, yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> I would have. No, 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 no. 
All right, so when we batch these pants together, we can go super fast because I just click here and then I go sell similar off my own listing, which I know a lot of you do, but we rarely can do this. And then we'll just take all the pictures out. And it's a 2x, right? Yeah. Okay, hope I type the right number. And um, I'm hoping these pants, sometimes basics, they're priced a little lower, number one, but they sell faster because they're basics, you know. I'm hoping that happens. They just get out of our house. I hope tomorrow when you watch our What's Sold, it's just all plus size pants. I would love that. Hey, everybody. There's our plus size pants sale. Give me those measurements when you got them, if you don't mind. 46, 38 to 44. Lines is 13. Is, um, is there writing on the side? Yeah. In scene? Right up. 32. Um, that's a really good question. Does J. Jill sell well? What did you say? 32? 32. We don't really know, to be honest. We paid 46 cents a piece for them, uh, and they're all basic. I think they will sell. I'm just not sure. The sell through rate's good. I did check that, but I'm just not sure what we're going to be able to get for them. Like for Eileen Fisher, I don't go by comps. I kind of have my own situation. So I'm kind of trying to do the same thing with these and price with my gut a little more. And I'll let you know if, if they're on our what's old, then they're selling. <laughs> we just didn't really have much to lose at 46 cents. Might as well try it, right? Yeah, and again, like, I mean, everything's in really good shape. Yeah. And... and I am pricing things a little bit high, but you have to remember that we always have a sale running, so that immediately just gets checked off the top. So I'm trying to price them the moot, if I'm being honest. I, I'm trying to get $20 profit on average out of these things and just get them out of our house. It is big in sizes, Tommy. All big in. <laughs> it's 2, 3, and 4X. So that's why we picked it up. We just don't have a lot of plus size in our store at all. So J. Jill, but the... 15.8. So if we take it out of that, we'd be aight. So the majority of what we bought was soft surroundings, which does do well for us. It was just like maybe a third J. Jill, a third soft surroundings, and then a third like, I don't know, there's some Eileen Fish or just some mixed in. But all of it is 2, 3, and 4X. So that's why we were like, yep, let's do it. Let's try it out. Oh, Kirstie Alley died? Man. Oh. This year is being rough on people. What happened? Did she have cancer? <coughs> I'm like, baby, I'm leaving here. You got two choices. <laughs> <laughs> he did not buy them. Oh, she was on cocaine? Cancer. Oh. <laughs> well, I think both. Cocaine and cancer? Yeah, I think it was I think it was the one two punch. Yikes. <laughs> Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> you don't need to spoil. All right, you send them? <clears throat> I'm sending. No metric. Ooh. Yeah, and all the stuff we picked up, we picked up in less than an hour, and it was all in really good shape. So I think this lady just bought a new pair of pants every day. Or a shirt. She didn't wear any of it. And she got it in, like, the greatest thing was this woman bought it in multiple sizes. So we'll have one shirt and a 2X, a 3X, and a 4X. And all of them are in great condition. We're like, yes! Because <laughs> we can sell similar off of them, and it's just so much easier. Like these pants. She had these pants in three sizes. Is this the same pants? No, this one's okay. different. Well, she had these pants in two sizes. So, I don't know. 
Oh, the Travolta's love for kicking the bucket. Wait, who else? Oh, Olivia. Yeah. Y'all need to stop. Yeah, Tommy, too soon. <laughs> she said she's going where everyone knows her name. <laughs> oh my god, too soon. Oh, to like a day. Man, it's that's like that's, that's that's pretty quick. It's <laughs> really quick. Need a buffer. Dang. Wait like an hour. Ooh. Slammer. <laughs> All right, what is this? These are Ponty J Jills. J Jill, Ponty. Pont, just Ponty. Ponty. Slimlight. Something boot cut. Boot cut hole on pants. What size? Rapidly? Is that what it says? Tommy <laughs> 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 said she's probably in the gate by now. Yeah, let's say. Where? Right before boot cut. It's been written over. It's tough to make out. <laughs> barely. It's probably barely. Barely. It's a barely. Barely boot cut. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. I can't believe him. She's probably in the game by now. <laughs> She's Scientology. She's got her own universe or something. She ain't in the gate. She yeah, on her own planet. planet. No, that's more. No, they got a planet. I think. No. I think the Scientologists got a planet too. They got a planet too. I, think I, don't, so. I don't know. I don't know anything about Scientology. I don't know Mormons, <laughs> but I don't know about Scientology. I can't can't speak on the matter. Barely food. Okay, we, we should watch the South Park episode on it. It's amazing. On Scientology? Yes, because it breaks down like it actually tells you. Like the whole time it's flashing at the bottom of the screen. This is what Scientologists actually believe. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love it. Well, y'all, don't uh, even talk to me about Scientology because I watch all documentaries, all of them. With Leah Remini, I watch them all. I, I'm obsessed, even though I don't know anything about it. <laughs> Look, these sold for $38.99. Come hey, on, Hey, all right. These are a size 2X. Yes, these, these were tall, and they sold for $38.99. Pour them all. Plus size two X. Perfect. We have her like three minutes of time for her death. Just think how much time people like us slinging this junk will get no more. Oh, that's so sad. Can you not right now? Yeah. Tommy, damper on things. <laughs> I'm slinging nice stuff. We're all, everyone's a middleman. At the end of the day, everyone's either working for someone else's paycheck, which is a middleman, right? We're all middlemen. And then, I don't think they make, actually, though. Middle people. We're all middle people. <laughs> At least I don't have to go into an office and work for somebody else's paycheck. I don't care if anybody judges me. I don't care. I'm like, I've never been happier with my job in my life. True statement. So I do not care what you have to say. I need side light, please. Look at me, side lighting. I'm a lighting <laughs> technician and everything. You got an MFA. <laughs> this is what I do with this. I hold this Melpo light from Amazon <laughs> at this 45 degree angle. Hey, hey respect the Melpo. <laughs> it does good work. 1350. I'm not going to make 1350. I got my profit set to be twenty dollars a mo. Come out with me thirteen fifty. I think I remember that couple that sold four X J Joe once. <laughs> they made thirteen fifty. <laughs> have you ever driven through Clearwater downtown? Why, yes, yes, I have. All the buildings are brand new and all the windows are blacked out with generic signage. Creepy place. Yeah, man, the Scientologists. They don't want anybody in. I mean, they want some people in. You don't claim. Man, when you watch those documentaries, some of the woo. <laughs> Thank you. You know, oh. some that is some craziness. What's the number? Sixty-one ninety-five. Sixty-one ninety-five. I used to care what people remember me for, and I don't care. 
I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. Wake up in the morning. You no, know, I just, God. You just never know how long you have your health for or whatever. Is it just like, why would I work for someone else and stress myself out for someone else's paycheck? No. <laughs> it's no longer about that for me. What's the material? Viscose nylon spandex. I used to feel like guilty I wasn't using my degrees. And then I'm like, you know what? I use stuff from them all day, every day. I don't care. Who, who cares? Yeah. I'm the only person that cares that other people care. <laughs> right? No. I'm over that. Over that. Anything to attract lint. Oh, I would hate those at work. Should I put that? No, why are they so well? <laughs> no, you should definitely put career wear. I did. <laughs> Don't you worry. I did. Yes. No writing on the tag. There is writing on the tag. Barely. I just want to note it. Yeah. In case someone's trying to give it as a gift or something offered. Right. I think we're driven to. Oh, yeah, I already read that. These are one pound, four ounces. Oh, yeah. all right. That Ponty. Yep. Priority. Okay. Y'all, if you want to see the craziest thing you ever heard, read what the eBay rep told to somebody in our group, in our Facebook group. <laughs> so they charged this guy in our Facebook group twice. Well, a guy and a girl, Teresa, she's in the chat. Um, twice for the subscription. So the husband writes in and is like, why you charge me twice for my subscription? As you do, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> this guy's response is being... Absolutely insane. Like bonkers insane. What's he doing? Getting a new dry erase. Greenwood is Greenwood is dead. He told him that just have faith. It's from the new huge update. He told him to have faith. Maybe I. Right. <laughs> You're like, nah, don't, don't, don't worry about it. You he said, good. don't worry, darling, or something to that effect. Like, because he thought it was Teresa talking. He don't, said, don't worry, sweetheart. We sweetheart. got you covered. <laughs> I was like, who said that? She was like the eBay rep note. And he had copied it right from the text. I was like, oh my God. What is going on? From the huge update. Apparently there was a huge update that no one knew about except this one eBay rep. Listen here, Missy. <laughs> Sweetheart. <laughs> Darling. That's that. Oh, did you send me pictures? Yeah, they're um, it's working on it. I was like, oh my Lord. eBay is going down a hole. Y'all need to read it. Seriously, it is worth the read. Okay. Hearty slim leg. Two X. I have zero faith in eBay right now. That the fact that it was like quoted, copy and pasted is blowing my mind. I mean, this person really said this, like, like said it, mm. like serious, like a serious individual. <laughs> Do you have a pattern on your side? Yeah. All right, you got it in my little bag. That's in my It's got a shake. Oh. 
Okay, perfect. I don't know what he was talking about. Some major update. Like, what are you talking about? You don't know. Gray window pane? Is that what you call it? Yeah, maybe check. Checker. Not checker. Grid? Grid. Career. I'm not repeating your drug references. Plus. Man, this thing is just load a load every day. If you change categories, it's like. Oh, does not like that. No. <laughs> no, ma'am. Probably this goes, huh? He's gonna say it is. I think so, yeah. Grid. And you said it. You're right. Career. Basic. Capsule. Comfort. I'm just adding these because Dan's taking pictures. I have time. I don't think you need them. Just letting you know, okay? Charged twice for my store subscription this month. Oh, Brandy did too. Hey, Brandy. But they didn't charge me last month. They must have had a lot of people asking about it. It is crazy how something like that is not automatic. Because art gets jacked up all the time too. How is it not on auto pay? I don't understand. These are caught in my lawn and spray Okay, thank you. I don't understand how it's not automatically just like, you know what I mean? How can they just not? <laughs> Can they just not charge you one and like ah we got you the next month don't worry don't worry sweetheart no no it's all good see it's from the one we forgot last time it's fine <laughs> but it's like a billion dollar company forgetting to charge their subscriber yeah it'll all work out isn't it's fine. subscription isn't that the connotation of the word yeah totally. that you're charged monthly or at a regular interval <laughs> you have subscribed i don't understand <laughs> <laughs> Yay, we forgot. We forgot half, yes. <laughs> the new updates. Oh, you don't say. Photographing four jeans and one Eskandar pant. Let's oh, go. Yeah. Come on, oh, Megan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's pants night. It's pants night. Get your pants on. <laughs> hey, don't, don't, you don't have to. You can take your pants off. Pants are not required. We were processed. It should be automatic. I don't know. So many things about eBay are just, I love it because it gives me my income. Okay. Disclaimer. However. What? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like things that are so normal, like just taking out a payment every month that literally is the most I've been doing that since I was in high school. Automatic payments. That was before, like, basically the internet. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know. What's the end scene? Dirty. Oh, God. eBay, eBay, eBay. The fact that you can buy something and not pay for it, that's another one. Waist size? 40 to 48. I, I know why. Y'all have told me I understand the stock price and the inflation and all that. But the fact that it even got to this point, that you could buy something without paying for it. Even at Kmart, you have to pay layaway payments you should have to make payments on it and i should have to agree to that that it's a layaway option 
you know, if eBay just got that, like, what's that program, Affirm or whatever, then people could pay interest to Affirm and buy their items. That'd be fine. That's cool. I don't care how you pay for it. No writing on the tag? Yeah. Just take a picture of the tag? Yeah. <laughs> Amiri will get a bit. I don't know Amiri. You know Amiri? A M I R I? No. We don't know this. I don't think so. And then when you call eBay, which we don't do anymore, you get a different oh, I need to on this. You get a different answer from every single person. It's good. Okay. 12.5. So on Macari bundles, we found out today that you can bundle it, mm -hmm, but they don't change the label. Even though they're supposed to. So we did two today and had a first class label still, and it was over. And so I look it up and it's like, yeah, just send it. On the Mercari blog, like, just send it. <laughs> Alrighty then. So we mm. sent an overweight first class package today. Welcome. And it says, you will not be charged nor the buyer be charged. That's all it says. It doesn't say what will happen. <laughs> it says what won't happen. Okay. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely look out for it. Amiri. Okay, it sounds like my name. That's nasty. I know. How does cat hair get in here? <laughs> oh boy, Mercari. Christy came in with the all caps. Do you know why that the label doesn't change? Shouldn't they automatically, if you have two first classes, know that it's going to be over the weight of the potentially over the weight? I mean, it should ask you. Because it ain't asking me. I think you're right. I think these are the pants to this jacket. Yes. Oh. oh. I said it, I don't know if I said it in the video, but I said it before in the video. I was like, Chrissy, you gotta come get Makari. He's drunk. They know what it's gonna they put out a bundle but didn't put out a combo, you know. Damn it's fighting his hands. Having an issue over here. Having an issue. Uh, how about some J. Jill Denim five pocket leggings? Come on, J. Jill Denim. I love how they have the name. Game changer. They are always terrible. That's why I love them. <laughs> We're going to find out what happens. Um, are they black? They are black. Okay, what size? 22W. These interestingly do not go for much. It's so weird how certain things go for more. Yeah, we'll be lucky to get like twenty dollars on these. Okay. It's fine. Look on my back pocket leggings, skinny jeans. It doesn't say that. It just says back pocket leggings. Yeah, but yeah. How about this dark wash stretchy? <laughs> I love what people name stuff. Well, these sold for twenty four ninety nine. Come on, now. just enough the hot mess express that is Macari and enjoy the occasional sale. Bam. They don't pretend to be a real platform like eBay. eBay ain't pretending to be a real platform these days. Seriously, <laughs> read what the guy said of the group. <laughs> I'm still not over it. A chat man told him this. A Calm down, man. Calm down, sweetheart. <laughs> Crosslist that Jadil to Mercari. I have good luck with that brand over there. I've been crosslisting everything. So all the 67 things we did, they're already crosslisted. Are you proud of me? Crosslisted a Posh and Mercari every morning. So I let them sit on eBay overnight. And the morning I get up and crosslist them all. It takes me about 15 minutes. It's great. Plus size 22. Oh, 
Christy's so proud. Cha-ching, pair of Crocs going to Puerto Rico. This is good. They're super light. How much did Crocs sell for, Matt? I know, like, the special ones go for more, but, like, in general, how much do you sell them for? We never find them. You know, I'm not sure if we found them if we would pick them up. Maybe we should pick them up. I threw those one pair you had away. Yeah, they were nasty. Couldn't take it. Can you put them in a different one Oh. These are the plain OG Crocs in black, 17 plus shipping. Hmm. You know, that's interesting. I never would have thought even 17 sounded like a lot to me for Crocs. Do you think like retail by 25? Am I crazy? I've never been in a Crocs store, to be fair. So just, I shouldn't be talking right now. So. Just that's what I would guess. That's probably wrong. I've sold pre-owned Crocs up to forty bucks, depending on the model style. What? And they're so easy to ship, right? That's crazy. That's great. Hmm. Somebody in our group put the um, cinnamon toast crunch ones, and they were going for like a lot of money. But of course, I would look those up. Anything with like cinnamon toast crunch. I would look I need the measurements as you get them for these. Waist is 42 to 46. Probably tries. Twenty-eight. All right, we're at about the hour mark from when we actually started working. So I am going to go through while dancing the photos and see if I can find out how many we've done in an hour. So you know, you know what I mean? Because this is a pretty good clip, and this is normal for pants. We have a lot of pants. We have a whole rack of pants. So to figure out how many we can do an hour while talking. Oh, that was okay, because I've been ahead of you each time. Yeah. Seven an hour. That's what we do in shirts. Dang. We've already done seven. It doesn't feel like that. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Nine, what did I say these were? Five pocket denim. <clears throat> and what's good about having all of these things is um. Over. over. Okay, we're getting some repeat buyers, so that's good. They're like, I, every time they buy something, I message, and I'm like, hey, I have a lot of stuff coming in the next few weeks. Keep checking, and someone just likes something that had already bought something. That's good. Sweet. We brought all of my car, actually. Okay. Bundle. Yeah. There's a debate going on in our group right now. So this guy Charles asked people, what was your best year as a reseller and the most income you've ever made reselling in terms of gross sales and net income? 
<laughs> Beth Watson Nelson is like, you're expecting people to share their income in a public forum? Who would do that? I do it every day. She's clearly never watched our YouTube videos. I seriously do it every day. Is that wrong? Anyone would be forced to share that information on Facebook, and I wouldn't believe anyone who did. Foolish, I tell you. Might this person be in the wrong group? I'm just gonna go there. I mean, is, this, is there something wrong with sharing your income? I don't, I don't get it. Is that wrong? I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, I, I can understand why some people would want to keep it private, sure. Send pictures. Yeah. Well. I thought I did. But I guess. Sorry. Okay. Sending. I love Vendu. I love it. They did pay us to do a video, so just saying that. But we used them for a lot of years now before they paid us to do a video. They paid us to do three videos, and we did one. <laughs> they didn't pay us to do, they wanted us to do three videos, and we only did one because we were like, eh, we don't like doing videos for other people. But anyway, um, and it wasn't a lot of money. I think it was a, a month of subscription or something. What, whatever. Like so we year. so we pay for it. We pay for Vendu every single month. We love it for the analytics, like I just had on the screen. Um, both of us are really spreadsheet adverse. I don't know what it is. As soon as we open up a spreadsheet, we're like, ugh. So the fact that we can kind of put in our analytics in that way and keep an eye on our business is really helpful. It just helps us in day to day. It helps me understand what I'm buying that's good. I have to see it. And it helps me know if our business is doing well. I have to see it in a graph and be like, okay, I'm doing okay. Because I am like doom and gloom. <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God. I'm like, oh my God, we're bankrupt. Let's quit. Oh, and then I go and look at my analytics and I'm like, no, no, we're okay. And it allows me to compare year to year without looking at a spreadsheet. I love it. I know that other people have like dashboards and stuff that we've tried. At, none of it's worked for us. We've, we've tried it all. We've also tried List Perfectly and that did not work either for us. So I think we've had Vendu for two or three years now. I love Something it. Like that, yeah. And it just keeps getting better and better and better for us, the way we work. I'm sure it's not great for some people. So it's hard about having YouTube. It's like, I feel like people expect me to have the definitive answer, and I don't. I just know what works for us and what, what doesn't work for us doesn't mean it's not going to work for you. Plenty of people in this chat use this perfectly, and they love it. And plenty of people don't use anything or don't cross this at all. And that's cool, too. Yep. What are these? These are... Pure gel slim leg pants. Slim leg pants. Okay. The size? Two X. I keep seeing. 
seeing this, this like broken picture links. Isn't that weird? Oh, 1650. Keep having that. 1650. I go try to find the ones that are like have the highest price and copy those. Oh, that's twenty nine ninety nine. How that? That's better. That's better. <laughs> the Pima cotton model and spandex. These are nice. You might have to go back to straight work. No. Why you say that? I'm not doing it. I don't think it's wrong to share or keep it to yourself. I wouldn't share with some of my in laws, but I wouldn't carry the way it in the group yeah I don't I don't care I just don't I don't know that's like an older generation thing not to share your income to me like what am I afraid of the IRS they know my income I share it with them pure Jill size 2x yeah Plus, are you sure those are indigo? Sure. Put trouser. Who really fancy about that? I don't know. I guess I should put Joe Joe in here too. Come on, Amy. Come on. Did I start a fight in the group? <coughs> Did we go through our first fight? Yeah, well, this guy just asked in the Facebook group, he was just like, hey, if you care to share, he was like, don't, it's not to be bragging or anything. He was just, I think people that follow us in our, in our Facebook group are generally trying to learn because why would you join our Facebook group if you weren't? Because we're a teaching channel and it would be really messed up of us to be a teaching channel and not share actual numbers to me. That's why we started our YouTube. I couldn't find anyone that would share actual numbers at all. So we share exactly, like every single day, we tell you how much we made for the day, how much for the week, and how much, I mean, for the month, and then how much we're up for the year. Because, like, why do you believe anything we say if we're not making any money, or if we're not making as money as you want to make, right? So don't do what we do if you want to make, if you want to make, like, hundreds of thousands a year, definitely maybe pick another channel. But again, if we cared about privacy like that, we wouldn't have a YouTube. So... I think they just wanted the same. It's just a choice, right? What's the number on this? 61.98. That's how I feel. I mean, who's to say? What the hell do I know? <laughs> I think the guy was asking the question just literally trying to learn what he could yeah, expect. Yeah, to see, like, what's possible. Exactly. What's possible. That's a good way of saying it. Do you have the numbers up? What's the M team? 30. Waste? 40 to 46. Rise? 12. Oh, whoops. I did this in the wrong thing. Whoopsie. You need him again? Or? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we're in the soft surrounding pants world. Uh -oh. the remainder. There's a couple of one offs, but. Of course, back in those days, people didn't talk about who they voted for either, and that sure has changed. Yeah, it, true. 
Things have totally changed. Like, my grandparents did not talk about me at all. It's like this huge secret, you know? Oof. Oh my Even Dan's dad was like, y'all shouldn't be talking about money on the internet. <laughs> Remember? Yeah. We were like, eh. We'll be aight. What do those weigh? I'm sorry. Um, I think they were four people or something. No. Yeah, 14.1. First class. What are these? Soft surroundings, jean pull-on pants. That's that's all you got? That's all I got. I got a... I need a style number. Style. Give me one second. It's on the tag. We made a couple of sales since the live started. That's good. Anybody want to sales? Stretching? Ching, ching, ching. Anybody? Okay, style number is five two nine four four. Sometimes these soft surrounding numbers work and sometimes they don't. Man, I'm what? assuming from that that they don't. White superla pull-on jeans. They're the superla pull-on jeans. There you go. They're not white. They're not white. Let's see if we can find these. Soft surroundings. Superla pull-on pants. 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 Get them side. Side light action. Come in. Oh, they come in all colors. Yes. I think we got them in a couple of colors. One right before the live started on Poshmark. Three this weekend with the night nice fat Etsy sale. What'd you sell on Etsy? I've never sold on Etsy. No, I will not be adding it. All right, the superlas, they're not right. Especially if they're new tags, they are. Here we go, right here, 33.95. Thank you. I'm okay with 33.95. Yeah, man. So what do I need to list them at? I know this is terrible, y'all, I know. These are two X. Two X, got it. They're like black, right? Or charcoal. We're gonna say charcoal. Sounds oh. good to me. Okay. Are they faded or are these? I don't. She didn't really not, wear these clothes. Yeah, so it's just like a charcoal. Yeah. I don't want to say black because they're not quite black and they're not quite gray. Vintage Cruella watch for ninety six dollars. Sweet. I would have bought a vintage Cruella watch. That's awesome. People love Cruella. Any villain really, but she's super cool. I feel like that whole Disney villains area at the parks now. Yeah. 
So this is Chino, but you wouldn't call those Chino, or would you? Can I be Chino? Sure. Okay. Oh! Survived. Didn't land on the tip. It will kill it? It'll, it'll make it smudgy. Oh no! I'm gonna go get some flonase. Excuse me, flow. <laughs> All right. So now that we're on the soft surroundings, we should be able to go fast in this arena. Exactly the same. Yes. Same size and everything? 2x. Oh, wait, I need to get some measurement for you. Yeah, these are 2x. So do all the 2x first. That's perfect. Let's roll through this. Let's see how fast we can go. I don't, I don't know if there's any more. Uh, I know, but these. What are the measurements? Inseam? 36 to 42 is the weight. Sorry, inseam is 28. 28. Okay, 36 to 42. Okay. Hmm. Where's the rise? Rise. Hi, rise. Left rise. All of the seasons for sure. So now I'll just sell off of this. Love it. Teresa, Teresa, tell us what the eBay rep told you. <laughs> I'm dying over here. I was trying to tell the, the group what the eBay rep told your husband. Your profit ratio, Angela, is better than ours for sure. You have to remember, though, anybody looking at our numbers, you just have to remember that we are two people and we work full time. So you can't compare. If you're not doing the same thing and you don't have two people working full time, you can't compare. It's not comparison. But I like your question about the ratio. Our cost of goods, I think, for the year so far is about $3.99. I think I did it in the last video. $3.99 a thing. So you want to keep your cost of goods as low as possible because that number, that gap will start to shrink. Your gap is pretty good. She's at 19,100 in gross and 12,724 profit. That's pretty good. Yeah. In my opinion. 
We're normally about 60%. Oh, I saw your puff powder stay <clears> on <throat> your face. <laughs> Don't worry about your pretty little face. <laughs> Is that what he said? <laughs> Don't worry about your pretty little face. <laughs> yeah, like eBay rep said this. <laughs> it's probably trying to say, "Don't worry your pretty little face about it," but not not like that's any better. It's not any better. <laughs> That is so funny. Oh, my God. I am dead. I'm laughing about it on here. Right before you got here, I was laughing about it. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is eBay doing? Like, seriously, you're a billion-dollar company. More more than one billion. But, you know, in that tier. And you're saying, don't wear your pretty little face. <laughs> I'm crying. I, oh. Oh. <laughs> They need AI or something. Stop it. Something. Just stop it. And, okay, of course. At least these longer than these. Okay, hold on. I haven't looked at the other one. Let's the... Okay. I've seen your pictures, right? Yeah. On the black. Yeah. Okay. Um, again, we're not experts in anything. I say it every day. We're not experts. I'm just telling you our experience and our our gap between profit and gross is a little bit larger. <laughs> um, okay, what's the, uh, so these are soft surrounding plus size 2X, Superla Pro, straight like the elastic, um, dark, no, what do you call that, indigo? Yeah. Indigo. Okay, um, and these are 6,200. Yes. And you said the inseam's one inch shorter? Longer, 29. And everything else the same. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> CT is just not bad. <laughs> Ready for these pictures? I'm ready. I agree with you, Megan. Compare your numbers to your own in the half year. Because you, basically, you just need to be able to compare your numbers to the year before. And if you're on your first year, any numbers are great numbers. Any profit is good profit your first year, right? But then the second year you can compare and you will inevitably get better. There's no one that gets worse. You just learn more and you get better at buying, get better at listing. And then you can compare it to your first year and it's, wow, I did so much better. And that's why in our YouTube videos at the end, I don't show you the numbers to brag because they're not where we want them to be. But I show you year over year. I try to. I try to show you month over month. I try to show you all of that comparison so you can see the trajectory of your possibilities as well. Like, we wanted to make 100K this year. If we ain't making it, we're never going to get there this year. It's not going to happen. It doesn't mean we're not happy with our numbers. Over. 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 That does not mean we're not happy with our numbers. We're very happy because we came we came so far since last year. We've come up fifty percent since last year. And last year we were cranking, we were full time. So coming up fifty percent is I think that's really good. Yeah. So if we come up fifty percent next year, that we'll be proud of that too. Are these the same? Uh, no, they have a different style number. Okay, let me list these and then look that up. I don't know if these are older or newer. Soft surroundings, uh huh. Five A W four two. Metro denim leggings. Oh, uh, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that's what look like. No, but these watches are coming. <laughs> 2AW42? 
five AW. Yeah, they're probably the same. Soft surroundings. Let's see if we can find them. What did I say they were called? Metro Denim leggings. What size are these? Two X. <laughs> Gotta keep monitoring this. We don't have fights in here, but sometimes it's a little edgy. I think we got I think we're gonna be okay here. The American Airlines skirt sold. Sweet. Even though they're not wearing the color, isn't that weird? That is what weird. are different like seasons routes or yeah, you know, seasons? Anybody work for American Airlines? You know how this works? We get their stuff in the bins all the time, new a tag, like their flight attendant uniforms, and we just buy them, and then they always sell. But then when we were on American flight, they were wearing blue, and we had gray skirts, and I was like, ooh, maybe they're not going to sell, but they sure did. They don't sell for a lot, but like, it's been, so. How can you leave it? These are 2X, yeah. Yeah. Trans are pants. Okay. Pants. 6201. Now we cranking out these pants tonight. Trying to. 3X. Oh, 3. Sorry, I thought you said 2. Uh, that's what I thought, but I was wrong. The small set does add up. That's actually how we started getting major sales on eBay. We have a video about it. Selling junk. I still love selling junk. So some days when I'm like overselling clothes and I'm just like, Ugh, but I know I need to list stuff, I just go through my junk, <laughs> my junk bag stash, and I list like little, little things. And sometimes there's really good stuff. One time there was a Squishmallow keychain in one of my junk bags. That was in my stash, and it was worth a hundred dollars. Yeah, man. So that's why I love junk bags because sometimes you'll get like get some gold. Some I actually did get gold in that one. Yeah. Get some magic. Like, yes. I have no problem selling some littles. <laughs> I love junk. <laughs> <laughs> you should watch my junk video. It's called. How our eBay sales increased 250% or something like that. It was no joke. It was not even a quick bait. Like, it was real. And we haven't abandoned that strategy, like, at all. We still sell junk all the time. Look at our video today. We sold, like, 10 junks. It's great. <laughs> Are there pockets? No. Can you hand me those measurements? What you need? 18? 30. Waist? 42 to 48. No writing on the pattern? Nope. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, you're right, Matt. $100 rubber ducky, too. Man, that was a good one. I still have another one. It's listed. And it's gonna, you know, it's amazing what people will pay for a status symbol like that. Yeah. Literally, that was probably the biggest joke in the left hand that people were like, let's give him a rubber duck. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because it's not this anything. <laughs> 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 if you don't watch our videos that's fine but we sold a rubber duck from Lufthansa that you get only if you're like a super duper first class VIP and somebody bought it for over a hundred dollars and I have the other one listed for the same price what are you gonna do? there's not? only one way to get that duck so like unless you buy it on the resale market so that's why I priced it so high, and other comps supported it. So what do people do? Like put them on their mantle or something? And people are like, oh, oh, you got the two thousand five duck? Oh, mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> <laughs> I get that. It's an actual rubber duck, like from the bathtub. There was nothing about it. it's not heavier. It's not. It's just a rubber duck. It was in a junk bag. And it almost threw it away. But then it said left Hansa and Dan's German. So I was like, hmm, maybe Dan wants this duck. <laughs> and then I looked it up and I'm like, you cannot have this duck. Nope. I'm selling it. Exactly. I don't care where they put it for $100. Exactly. That's why I love those like grab bags. Because you just never know. Yep. Yeah. So true. For their bougie kids to take a bath with. <laughs> <laughs> bougie kids. That time we were talking about bougie babies in our Facebook group. Yep. Duo. Y'all, I've been doing Duolingo for over a year and I still can't speak German. It's fine though. <laughs> getting better though. Am I? Yeah. I feel like I'm getting worse. I feel like I'm understanding less and less. Yeah. Alright, do you the same? Mm, style number is 59164. It's slightly different. They got this little notch down here at the bottom. Five, uh, five. Nine, one, six, four. They got fake pockets. Up here. Fake fly. Maybe they collect them and fill their swimming pools with them for fancy parties. Ooh. Uh, yes. I want to go to that fancy party. Ooh, first class fancy party. First class rubber duck fancy party. You have to have the duck as admittance oh, to get yes. in, to throw it in the pool. Totally. <laughs> I can see this. There is your duck? No? You don't have it? That's like your entrance? Yeah. It's like the password for the speakeasy. Exactly. You have to have the duck <laughs> or you're not in. Or maybe you have to have a duck to get in the Lufthansa... Lounge. lounge. You flash your duck. <laughs> hey, we have one. Should hey, we try it? Yes. Let's try to go to the and be like, they're like, sir, just, you're not. Just go, to, like, just go to Terminal D and go to the Lufthansa lounge. Yeah, here's the duck. Here's, here's the all access I, duck. I got the duck. <laughs> what do you mean I'm not allowed? Where's my free champagne? Oh, do you think they have free champagne? Absolutely. Oh, then the duck is. That's what's it. so good about you know the first one's lounges. You get like free drinks and free food and stuff. Are these called salt? Uh, Women's salt super stretch pants? Maybe that's the color. I'm just gonna, just gonna say that. Because they just got photo. Huh? Oh my god. Matt! I can't read this out loud. <laughs> Oh, it's a shapewear pant. Is it? That's what it says. Okay. That's what it says there, friend. 
Stop turning super stretched, skinny jeans, large pole, and ankle pants. <clears throat> I like the one that talked about shapewear. Women's super stretch shapewear pants, straight leg. Are they straight leg? Uh, not sure. One second. These are a 2X. Okay. Yes, you can. I said duck. <laughs> yeah, but I, you know me talking. I wouldn't have been like that. Yeah. Okay. So, here we go. Size. Oh, dang it. Out of characters. Come on, man. I don't know. A lot of characters. What's the number? 6202? Mm -hmm. You guys bored of seeing us lifting pants yet? Sorry. No, sorry. Sorry. No, no, sorry, not sorry, really at all. Gotta get our work done. We just were so proud of ourselves. They're listing this weekend. Y'all had no idea. We watched Grey's Anatomy. Well, we tried. We started it. Was it was the weirdest thing. Yeah. Like, we, we never start, tried to watch it in our life. Yeah, we started streaming it on Amazon Prime Video because it was free there. All the way from the beginning. And then we tried to go back for day two, and it was like, man, you can rent this for $1.99 an episode. I was like, what? Hey. So weird. Okay. I got them all. What you want? Oh, Inseam. 30. Waist. 42 to 46. Uh, rise. 14. Fourteen. came in you're gonna have a lot of returns i just know it does it fit bad fit <laughs> it happens fine the chubbies they're coming back oh bad fit Style number? Uh, 
Okay, also a 2x. Oh, I put it in the wrong space. Hey, James. He's like, I'm so late today. Oh, it's okay. We're going to extra hour because we got to get the 20 because we're listing low dollar. We got to get our listings done. I notice Dan is not saying much. <laughs> He's going to flip out. Work rate activate, yes. Got when you gotta do it, you gotta do it. Colorful denim metro leggings. Any of these babies have sold. Okay, so none of that colorway. Coral stretch. We're just listing a bunch of pants. Sorry, we're being boring. Try not to be, but. Yeah. this person call them I hate this when you click on something and your picture is something different oh. mm. trying to steal someone's description <laughs> <laughs> oh work with me here I'm getting hot now. Having a hot flash. Uh oh. I was trying to get the you know, the side detail in the in the picture. Tangerine. Let's call that color tangerine. No. Well, these are new tags, and they call them no tangerine. Okay. Tangerine it is. It looks exactly the same color. Okay. Snappy breast detail. That's what it's called. Ooh, snappy breast. Good lord. Snap brass. Bam. What the number is? 6203. 6203. Angela, how's the death pile going? Well, I need y'all need to help me think of a challenge. motivated because we have a lot to list I don't know what Anything? 29 place 44 to 46 
All right, here we go. <clears throat> Where was that a pants? Well, from the ones that I grabbed. Oh my God. No. You didn't grab 20 though. No, I'm gonna have to grab as much as I could. <laughs> yeah, we can do like the Patagonia. We can do a couple of those things. <clears throat> okay, these are soft throwing ones also. Yes. These are two X, these are like. Do you have a number? Thin. Style? Yeah. Number? No. Five nine two four four. You got the picture of the tangerines. <laughs> I'm about to start singing that song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I wouldn't call it a dev pile. I'm strategically making one dollar bread and butter and trying to pull three random jeans from my thread up line. Oh, there you go. What size thread up did you get? I don't remember you getting a thread up. It was like 100 pounds. Don't they offer like a huge amount now? I always wanted to do that. Two more minutes till Dan turns into a Krabby Pumpkin. Oh, oh he going not have to be a Krabby Pumpkin because we go into 20. No rest for the wicked. You're just going to have to watch him explode. Come on, yeah. He's going to have to explode. Oh, Oh, all the toes. Got it. See? Y'all, I'm telling you, get a pair of tights and keep them in your office. We save so much on having to wash things. All right, we have nothing for these pants. Nothing! All right, so what are they, what are they kind of like? It's all surroundings. Do you want to sign them? Thank you. Oh, you have a scammer on Posh? You didn't engage with them, right, Teresa? Did they ask you to email them? What's happening? Tell us all about it. <laughs> we need a little drama tonight. Mm -hmm. Get us through these pants. Right. This, this butt on these pants is not cute. Not hot. <laughs> should, should we undo? Can I? Should I try some? Should I try some? Mm -mm. No. <laughs> Just go. He's got mm -mm. Mm -mm, <laughs> minimal engagement. Okay, minimal's better. Y'all, it is nine thirty. I'm drinking coffee. That's what's happening. That is what's happening. I've been drinking coffee all day. I've not had a break. Oh no, no, no! Oh hell to the no, no. A switcheroo on an Xbox. Poshmark better have your back. I, no, absolutely not. 100% no. I hate when people do this. That's why we stopped selling electronics. It was happening to us all the time. You said 2X? Uh, yes. Would you say these are new without tag? Sure. Uh, a 6204, right? Yep. These are not laying jeans. No. Not jeans. They're not jeans. Oh no, I'm in the jeans category. Oh god. <laughs> Why did you do this to me? Because it's my son and he's pretty upset. Oh.
Oh, good. Good, good. Yeah, Megan got the 100 pound box. That's awesome. Was it good stuff? Well, I guess at that cost of goods, anything's pretty much good, right? The cost is really low, I think. They took it out and cleaned it. They sent pictures or something of something nasty. Oh, gosh. Oh, Teresa. James got drama. I'm sitting on the toilet, and my right butt cheek starting falling asleep. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> oh, it goes to butt. Two X, yeah. Yeah. What's the end of the name? Are they ink pants? Twenty So is Posh involved in this situation yet? This will be 14, I think. Getting there. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. This makes Levi's AG a little of Mother Article Society and this me, J. Crew, and some stuff. That's awesome, Megan. I think you should make some good money off that. I guess they just get so many jeans that they're just like, have to offload them, huh? I guess so, yeah. Jeans always make some money, though, if your cost of goods is low enough. The problem with getting them at the Goodwill is it's so freaking expensive in the jeans section. But if you can get them for a buck or two, you should be able to make money on them. Says me. Oh, good. Teresa has all the pictures. Okay. Get them. You get them. You take them down. Yeah. Hate scammers. Like, how do you go to sleep at night when you're like that? Worst. <clears throat> are these the creek? No, these are um, self starting these. 55984. So the same as those other ones we just did like two pairs ago or something. I can remember that. Skinny stretch pants and tuck. No. No. Skinny stretch pants. I think seamed on the front of the blue ones. Mm -hmm. I do not think so. <laughs> They're scaring my son. You bet we're going to get him. Yes. Get him. Get him. Okay, what does it want me to put? Type. It says leggings. I just had to click it. Oh, oh. Lord. <clears throat> Soft surroundings. The stretch skinny. Which ones? It's fine. I'll just, I'll just think. Oh, I'll just say 
skinny stretch pants ponty knit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't say ponty on there, but they right. definitely are. The other thing's hiding was making Christmas money and he said he was dirty and had bugs. Oh my god. So they took a picture of their own dirty ass, nasty. Oh, uh, uh, that's not cool. Or maybe they had thrifted one that was gross. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. There are 2x. Yes, I believe they are. Yep. Sixty two oh five. Mm-hmm. Plus two X. Anyway, between eBay and Posh, yeah, nice weekend. Well, that's good. Maybe those measurements as you get them, if you don't mind. Waist is 38 to 42. Rise is 14. Answer 54 if you want it. No, I don't have that section for that. What's the end scene? 30. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Probably somebody was returned to me. Oh. Like everything I checked. Check it out. Oh no, it was a save search. I need to take down my save search. It's so silly. They're all like old bolos that are no longer bolos. Overbound. Okay. Pictures. Whoa. I knew you were about to forget. Okay. Sure. She was like, do you also share your income from YouTube? I was like, sure, we make about $150 a month. <laughs> <laughs> We ain't like cashing it in. And on this channel, we make a big zero. Zero! <laughs> Come at me, bro.
you can look up someone's YouTubes. Can't you on like the social thing? I don't think it tells you their channel revenue. I mean, you can kind of figure it out though. I mean, what do you want from me? We don't make crap on YouTube. That's what everybody thinks. They think that people that have YouTube are making bank. And unless you have like a hundred thousand followers, you you or like thirty thousand or something, you're really not making that much. James, get at him. <laughs> James will come at you. That's right. But that's what people think if they have no experience in the YouTube. Room. They think that you are just like reselling for YouTube content, which some people do. Once you get to a certain level, well, you're not. <laughs> we are nowhere near that level. No. <laughs> we probably pay. I can't even. We pay YouTube to put our videos up, actually. Yeah. By the time you take the equipment and the time spent making, <laughs> we make nothing. Yeah. One penny an hour. Basically. <laughs> Why are we subjecting ourselves to this? Oh, God. There's a guy that looks that up. Yeah, look at that. Man. All right, what are these? You're listing here. These are G our new girl, Joan. Joan Boss. Oh, this goes with that whole set. Bass. Joan yeah. Bass. Yeah, it goes with that set. We have a whole set. You know what? We do have the top that goes with this. We should probably list these two together. Or no, just, just go in. Yeah, they're too late. Just go. Joan Bass. Matching piece can be found in our store. Yeah, I'll put that. What, do they have a name in here? Um... Are they new? Because everything else is kind of new. There's no tags or anything on them. Um, there are one X. Is there a Ponty? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kinda. Right. Mm. They're not the greatest ponte I've ever felt. Loop cut ponte knit pant. Are they rayon nylon spandex? Um, one second, please. All good. They are cotton lycra. A little bit harder for me. They're not 100% cotton. Cotton and what? They are 95 cotton, 5 lycra. Size what? One X. One X. Navy knit on cotton blend pants. 
elastic waist wide leg. Number? 6206. I'm getting behind on this one. Six to 40. Uh, I do not use it in the listing titles, Angela. That's a very good question because I just listed some things in that, but I put it, I'll show you, in the theme section because that's like a hashtag and it is searchable. And I find that it comes up on the old Google where it says theme right here. That's where I put it. You can type in your own. So here I'm just going to do, I try to do the ones that are there, but sometimes I will put trending things here. Like I didn't put career parent in the title, but I'm going to put it here in hopes that it will pick it up. I'm not an expert. That's what I've been doing. It's coming. Mm -hmm. Look for coordinating pieces in our eBay store. Mm -hmm. I did it for you. Nice. Did it. What size? Extra, extra large. picture of that little spot. Okay. There might be a top. Uh, Is there a matching piece? I don't know. I'm just looking at these tops thinking like, did I see one? <laughs> I think the pants sell better than the tops though. Okay. It didn't say like Soma anything else, right? I don't think so. No. no. large, navy, waist, trim, sleeve, pajama pants, they say capris, this is the end scene, I don't think these are capris, yeah. soft lounge, full, I'm going to put full length, full length. You just mirrored it getting warmer back here. I said I'm so hot. I just got the heat on. Must be. Teresa uses keywords like that in her title, 6207. So what, 
I'm like getting my numbers backwards all the time. Because I'm looking at it upside down. Yeah. It does not help. No. Yeah, everybody does everything a little differently. I think it's cool. It's cool. That's why we got each other. We learn it. category stop it intimate and sleep but then when you do tight pajama pant style oh and it's just the style Did you send pictures? We just need three more. Yeah. I think I did double check. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. You need a new box. <laughs> I don't know how to list typing. I hate listing it. It's my worst. I don't hate it more than Lululemon. No, I hate listing Lululemon. Okay, sending. Okay. Oh, you should have asked me. <laughs> Come barreling in. <laughs> oh, that nice. That marker looks nice. Oh, I know. It's a good one.
I don't know where he went. answering your question if Amanda's still here I'm answering your question on here just so people can see it whose question the media mail question I'm just answering it on YouTube oh I see I think these are all the same we're back there we're back to where we started with these five two nine four four okay we need to organize that right better yeah Which is what I was saying to do, but then I got a headache, so I was like, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, okay, well, he just left. Uh, oh. Oh. Steamer's falling apart. Everything's falling apart. I'm social media managing over here. <laughs> that was like Dan's AWOL. <laughs> he just left. He was like, I'm, I'm out. out. Screw this, I'm going home. Why did these pictures import upside down? Look. Weird. Uh, maybe maybe when I set my phone down and I picked it back up, the orientation didn't. That happens sometimes. I usually catch it. You can put whatever you want to in your titles. You put whatever you want. I guess hooker boots is not allowed. <laughs> well, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Please for that. I would totally. There are some listings that I used to see on Poshmark. Oh my God. Yeah. I would die. I'd be like, Dad, you have to see this. <laughs> oh man. So good. All right. Which. I'm sorry. What are we back to? What is this? Self surroundings, jean, pull on jean, leggings. Yeah. Style number is like 52944 or something. 52944. How do you know that? Just look at it. Oh, the superlas. Right? I think so. Yeah. Just gotta find them. Okay, what size? 2X. Well, these are exactly the same, except they're not charcoal. Yes! <laughs> I put pimp shoes once. Oh my god, I love you guys. <laughs> Y'all have cracked it yet. I love selling similar off my own. I wish I could do it with every list. Wait. Thirty-six to forty-two. 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 Thirty
<laughs> Sometimes I search just didn't like it <laughs> and just to see what it is. Because just people sell in some of their closet and they don't have makeup with me. <laughs> just didn't like it. <laughs> or the title will be too small. <laughs> yes. Mm. That's a hot tip. <laughs> yes. Cheap stuff. Actually, I'm going to do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you guys. <laughs> Hated it. <laughs> Daughter didn't like it. <laughs> Son didn't like them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, just a flannel. I didn't really wear it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. My son didn't like them. Free polish love the jeans just to fit me. Hey, what kind of jeans do you? Adrian, I gold for 11 bucks. <laughs> nice. Y'all, seriously, do it. You will find some great stuff. Over a dollar. Adorable summer tank. Just didn't want to wear it. <laughs> 10 bucks. Sweater worn once, didn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, what was I doing? Sorry, I'm listening to this. What? Come on! Man, that was too good. Leave me alone. I'm waiting on pictures. Yep. What'd you say with that? Priority. Yes. I snagged a pair of $150 vans on another online platform that were listed as some <laughs> peanut shoes. S H U S. <laughs> <laughs> another hot tip. Let's look it up on Poshmark. Shoes. <laughs> No, didn't work on Posh. I need, I have screenshots on my phone. I need to put them in an album that are all the different ways people spell shelves on, on um, Facebook marketing. Shelves. <laughs> shelves. <laughs> <laughs> but the way they spell it is, it's pretty incredible. Are these different? Five six nine five one. They have a little pattern on them. But is the cut different? It doesn't appear to be. It's got the same exact waistband and stuff. So. Okay, I'm just gonna. Yeah. Is it a two X? Uh, yeah, I would think so. Wow, I'm really feeling better about my tag pose. Oh no, it's so good. Chester Draws is always my favorite. <laughs> oh, it's my favorite. I freaking love it. <laughs> Chester, Chester Draws. Draws. I swear, I see it all the time. Oh, Matt got those vans for 10 bucks shipped. Holy crap. <laughs> they made nothing. Wow. Some peanut shoes. <laughs> <laughs> if you had enough time and patience, you could definitely just source online. Yeah. What size are those? Uh, 2X. Yep. And they're the same pants. They just have like a floral embossed. Seen 40 waist. 36 to 44 waist. Yeah. Didn't see anyone checking. 29. Damn. 
This is what I meant when we could go faster. When we have the same, because I can just. Yeah. Don't have to comp anything. It's already priority. It's like, I don't know. I'd say 20 ish percent of my inventory comes straight to my door from other platforms. So you spend a lot of time just kind of like scrolling. I'm interested in this way of sourcing. I can't do it because the shipping kills me. I'm just so cheap. I just don't. I mean, I know you can say you have free shipping on something, but normally the shipping price, I'm out. Like, I'll get $100 or something, and it's like $5.95 shipping. I'm like, mm. <laughs> Every single time, and it just sits in my cart because I, I cannot pay for the shipping. What is wrong with me? <laughs> and I charge everybody else on the planet shipping. Like, I know I need to pay shipping. But I'll be like, I don't know. I don't know. It's a great thing to do at 3 a.m. when you can't sleep. Do that. Do that. Well, try my technique of just didn't like it. I wish we wasn't a surprise. <laughs> or cute. If you're into women, cute. <laughs> just put in cute. Don't put anything else. And then filter from lowest to highest. You'll be good. Matt said, oh, I am cheap too. <laughs> okay, good. Once you start adding the shipping, it really does, like, even to your cost of goods so much. I, I'll pay shipping for myself. But, like, when I'm looking for inventory, the shipping kills it for me. Did you send pictures? Are these those? But everything looks the same. No, you didn't send pictures. so excited. Why? Oh, you brought exactly the amount you needed? It does. Oh, my goodness. You told me you got three. I got three. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Duh. The bare minimum, Brian. <sighs> also, seller who lets you say don't have scale and everything weighs fifteen point nine ounces. Yeah, she that. On Poshmark for sure. I heard Poshmark's cracking down on weight. We didn't used to back in the old Wild West days. Yeah, right? Send whatever you wanted to. Bye. All right, I gotta stop drinking coffee. I'm like super hyper right now. I'm never gonna fall asleep. Dang. I'm trying to go till 10.30. I thought you were gonna sneak in a couple extras. No. Bare minimum. From what I read, they should crack down on logic. I'm telling you what, they don't even have a bundle feature. So these people are going in and bundling on their own. I'm just like, mm -hmm. it takes so much time. Are these the thing? Yeah. Are they a 2X? They are a 2X. Yep. Cool. Just in brown. Brown town. Yep. What I, uh, I'm okay. Like I got some shoes from Mercari that weighed three pounds all day with the box, and the guy had the shipping set to four ounce rate. Oh my god! And it just goes through. The post office doesn't do anything. To me, it's crazy when there's like a big F. Like the Poshmark, I get because it says like it's a P and it can be in a flat rate box, you know, whatever. But when there's an F on the label and the thing is heavy as hell. How's it get through?
people aren't even selling in some lives, doing yoga, sleeping, asking for tips via Venmo. <laughs> Wait, should we do this on the live? Best of your bring tips. <laughs> oh, I didn't ask him to defraud the post office, but I sure didn't message him and ask him to increase the price before I bought it. No, I got you. I just don't understand how it gets through. I don't know. We'll see what our Mercari bag is. We just sent it. Just sent it. I mean, what else am I supposed to do? That's what it said. So I just sent it. No. Measurements okay. are the same. Okay. The number is 62 PM. PM. <laughs> That's going to come in all caps. Always. <laughs> oh, it never gets old. Never gets old. Hot tips. I know I hate that. You're not able to make changes. Like we need to be make a change to the regular day. And I looked it up and I was like, just send it. That's what the Macari blog said, the official blog. I was like, I <laughs> you and the buyer will not be charged. Priority. Perfect. Wonderful. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, if you do free shipping, I ain't doing no free shipping. I'm paying, I'm paying, I'm paying. No, ma'am. Sandy. Why he shut it down, y'all? Shut it down. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> well, we did the bare minimum. Hey, Probably man. need to up the bare minimum. We got there. Yeah, we're supposed to do over 20. You know, the whole like if we list during the day and the night, we get over 20, so we have stuff to do on the weekend, but that's okay. Yeah. It's not okay. Today, we, 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 there was problems today. Come on, eBay. What's it doing? It does this, and then I have to back out of the listing. <sighs> like, you didn't have any photos. And I'm like, I did. Well, now it's not going in, but I'm going to have to do it because look, it didn't. Right. Look, so? this is my cover photo. It's just so good. <laughs> it's the best. Just didn't like it. <laughs> exactly. And you're like, dang it, Dan, I just made a cup of coffee. That's uh, what I'm saying. Not having it, y'all. All right, getting these listed. And now, I'm going to import to the venue. She said, dang it, Dan. I love it. <laughs> See how many. 
Yeah, let's see. Only thing then, these two bits, so last four will get done afterward. All right. That's still great, Megan. We're about to get out of here anyways. Let me see how many we actually so. All right, go to inventory. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah. <coughs> We got our 20 done. Uh, that feels really good. There's a rack of pants, a whole yeah. full rack. Do we make a dent in it? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Cool. A little bit. So we're going to be back tomorrow night and um, Wednesday night, doing 20 more each night. More pants. All the pants. <laughs> Coming at you, pants styly. Looks orange. Is it because of this? There's some weird lighting going on. There's a lot of orange stuff around me. There's an orange thing behind me. Do I look orange? Do I look orange? We did get a little bit of a tan. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Not much. Yeah. How many people we still got here? 24? Okay. What? Yeah, man. See, people have late night burgers. Check in. <laughs> Pumpkin bedtime. I see. Uh -huh, I got it. I see. We're watching White Lotus. Oh, it's so good. So good. I'm on the fence about it. Yeah. I'm enjoying it. It's a little like prescribed. Yeah, I can see that. It's still entertaining though. But it is good. I love What's Her Bucket. What's Her Bucket? Um. Jennifer, Jennifer um, Coolidge. Coolidge. Yeah. <laughs> Stifler's mom. She's never anything else. Yeah. She's always going to be Stifler's mom and she's always perfect. <laughs> In the show, it's really funny. So we're in the first season. Yeah. I know there's a second season set in Italy. So we'll have to watch Maybe that. season two is better. Yeah, and it has good, good cast as well. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thanks for hanging late. Thank you, man. Thank you. No, no problem. I will be here till 3 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Everybody have a good night. Bye.